I'm painfully single. I'm also painfully selective with my energy. So I sit at home and eat soup that resembles cum. Mmm. She's gonna be on clam chowder for life. Where's your dad? Where's your mom? Where is your family? This is the Revenge of the Commissar. Just in case the parents are wondering what they're paying for. And if you're wondering why they come out dumber than when they went in. And now we should pay off those student loans with the tax money, right? Got it. Oh, shit, shit, Damn. All right, let's do this. You better not break my neck. If it breaks, then you're a weak motherfucker. No, she just Pick knew what she was up. doing. You, you're the one that's weak. If you can't flip your ass You help me, way. okay? That's okay. what we do. We're a team. Yeah. Help me. I don't know. Right, here we go. Ass forehead. Here we go. Flip. Come on. It's 5.57 a.m. and I'm out here whilst you're in bed on a run. I'm two kilometers in. I haven't even slept. To be honest, I'm not even running for exercise purposes. I'm currently being pursued by the police. I was at my dealer's house for an after party when the cops raided it. Luckily, I was in the garden showing his 15-year-old son videos of me bench pressing 60 kilos when they kicked the door in. But the birds have started to sing and I haven't heard a siren in five minutes. I'm out here getting it. What's your excuse? Stay toxic, everyone. In the background, hey, the back this Tesla. Go back that. Mm, 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 mm. Tej Hanley. They help men start and maintain a skincare routine by simplifying the entire process. And that's been really important to me because, you know, like I've told you before, our life is about habits and behaviors, and they make it really easy to start and maintain the process. All right, guys, here's all my Tej Hanley stuff, man. They sent me, they got me the AM, the PM. I've been using it for a few weeks now. I do the scrub twice a week, the wash. Um, they also sent me this kit right here where it's got these little trimmers, you know, get them nose hairs way up in there. It's got this cool uh, heavy duty nail clippers. It's got a file right there in the middle. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, man, I recommend this stuff. I'm enjoying it. All right, guys, so that's basically the level one system. You know, when I search for products, the thing that stands out for me the most is the five-star reviews. And Tej Hanley has over 7,000 five-star reviews. That's that's insane. That's unheard of. So I tried the stuff. I'm using it. Um, it smells good. It's got a little lavender scent to it. So everything's on point. And I recommend it because I actually like it. If I didn't like it, I just wouldn't do the commercial. So with that said, you know, because Tej Hanley is sponsoring the video, they're offering you guys a pretty sensational deal. Just click the first link in the description below and get 30% off your first skincare system and a free gift. Plus, as a member, you'll also get 20% off for life. You know, guys, the girls are taking care of their skin on a daily basis. It's something that's preventative. You have to do it before you start to see signs of trouble. So I really encourage you guys to do this. And, you know, there's no way that you're going to maintain getting hot girls for the rest of your life if you don't maintain yourself. Thanks again, Teach Hanley, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the nonsense. I banged at least 10 chicks that had that fucking dog. They're terrible. So the difference between men and women when it comes to going out partying thing, going to bars, whatever, is that women run passive game. Women don't approach men really. You just put yourselves in positions where you can be approached by men. So you go to the club, you go to a bar, you go to the party. You're not gonna DM a guy. You'll post a picture to kind of elicit men to DM you. So men are salesmen, women are marketers, and essentially in a committed relationship, a man should stop pitching. So going up to girls, sending DMs, and a woman should stop advertising. By you continuing to go out to bars, clubs, and parties, you're still putting yourself out there. That's oftentimes why women will find replacements really quick 
because you were generating leads the whole time. So I'll tell you guys, a lot of women will argue with you about this and that's your cue to just drop them off because, you know, ain't no reason to argue with people that are small minded. But uh, at the end of the day, that's the absolute truth of what's taking place. And if your girl's still advertising, that's a fucking problem. But let me keep it real with you. I dated a lot of girls from Europe, Europeans, and they play dumb. So don't ever second guess like your girl will play dumb. They'll pretend like it isn't true, pretend like they don't understand. One time I was dating a German chick and she'd play dumb, but at like six months into the relationship, I caught her doing it and she busted out laughing hella bad. I'm like, these motherfuckers for real. So if you have a conversation with your girl about it and she acts like she doesn't know and stuff like that, make no mistake about it. She playing your ass. Look guys, dolphins, you're not going to believe this. I'm playing catch with them, ready? Go get it. <laughs> what do you mean, you'll come and you'll bring it back to me? Ready? Oh, poor <laughs> He'll come and get it. Oh, he's stuck on the thing, look. Oh, ready? Ready, you want it? Oh, right, I'll put it in, catch it then. <laughs> How lucky am I? Oh my god. I can't get over it. <laughs> yeah, come on in. Come on in. Jump it. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. <laughs> Damn, that's a dope ass magical experience. Out here at the beach where I live, you see the dolphins out front. There's like a rip current right there, and a lot of fish will gather, and the pelicans will eat there, and the dolphins come like several times a week. It's pretty awesome. One time I was riding a jet ski out in uh, out in uh, no, San Diego Bay, way out there, and I had a school of dolphins that were racing my jet ski. I'll put a little video up of it right here. Uh, it was pretty awesome. It went on for like an hour. I recorded it for like a minute or two, but then I did it for about an hour. All the little juvenile uh, dolphins were so tired, and they would find me, and it was like 20 or 30 of them at least. It was honestly an awesome experience. them every single day to stop putting the meat emojis in the phones like it should be illegal it's offensive to me and it's triggering to people like me who are vegan and it's so triggering and i don't know why they don't take them off the iphone because they're so triggering shut your bitch ass up <laughs> Damn, you gotta be careful with those prank videos. Come to my block, we also play fuck around and find out. never gonna get married i don't want to get married why there's no benefit for the man he only has everything to lose what? a man can be completely faithful to his wife provide protect 
take care of the kids, you know, obviously when he's not working, whatever. And the wife can step out and cheat. And what's the result of that? Man has to pay alimony, has to pay child support, loses his house, loses the cars, loses everything. Why? What's the point? And then like, it's a coin flip. Flip, flip a coin if your marriage is going to work. Those are the odds. Those are the, those are the chances. If you want to get married, cool. Throw a wedding, put the rings on each other, say your vows, you're married. You don't have to submit nothing with the courts. Yeah. Die alone? The only reason why somebody is not okay being alone is because they're not okay with themselves. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's it. Like if you're not okay being alone, you have issues with yourself that you need to take care of. Damn, that's what boggles my mind, right, guys? It's like, if you don't want to get married or have kids, they always hit you with, oh, you want to die alone then? Well, let me keep it real with you. I watched my dad die. I was the only one in the room because I didn't feel like I wanted to let him go by himself. But if one of my kids or my wife wanted to sit there while I died, I'd let him leave. I'll do it on my own. I'll be fine. And to tell you the truth, you know, the fact is it don't add up no more. So don't let no one guilt trip you into the getting married because they're going to break you off. Secure men, what happens is they select wisely. They select a woman and if she's doing behavior that's not good and they can't accept, they remove themselves. What insecure men will do is select poorly and then almost shake her to be better, like keep begging her. And that's why women start to call a man insecure because you don't like a lot of me, but you can't leave me. So that makes you insecure. Whereas a secure man, you don't like a lot of me, you leave me. So we don't call that guy insecure. We call the guy that keeps blowing up our phone knowing that we're going to go out every weekend, keeps shouting and screaming every time we post a bikini picture, but we'll still be with me and still pay for dinner and all that stuff so that's the guy we call insecure the one that can't let go i find it so bizarre that women will post bikini pictures and then get mad if their man likes a bikini picture you are contributing to the same problem that you see in your relationship you are fueling that same fire in either somebody else's relationship or your own you are creating the same men that you don't like the ones that are tapping like on your pictures you're creating that as well when you're posting like that so i think if a woman posts bikini pictures but then gets mad at you for liking them she's got a narcissistic element that you need to kind of see as a Red. Someone's gonna get fucking killed if they don't open that gate. Yeah, do you? Get away. Do you? Stop talking to my parents. Stop being violent and crazy. Stop talking to my parents. Lana, go inside. Stop go talking. In go inside. To my parents. Go inside. Are you fucking kidding me? Do it again and I'll do it again. The fuck is wrong with you? Well, what's wrong with you? Stop talking to my fucking parents. Damn, how crazy is enough crazy for you? I know some guys, a couple of my friends, they got a pretty high tolerance. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. <laughs> Damn, I have to call this one the dolphin edition, an epic animal. But they do this over here in San Diego too by the pier and PB. They'll literally surf with you. It's happened to me. It's a great time. Does that ever happen to y'all? Let me know. All right, y'all. Let's see what I got for you today. As I'm sure most of you are familiar, I like to preach beginning with the end in mind. It's really a vital aspect to my life. And uh, while I'm on the yard, so sorry, if, you know, I'm, I'm interested to see if the phones will be able to cross cancel that air compressor out right now. But if not, sorry about that. But, uh, you know, beginning with the end in mind, and I want to think, talk about business. And sometimes the business, if you don't think about it properly when you start, could really be less of owning a business and more like owning a job where you could never leave. And you see that with like sort of some like small retail stores, the pet stores, things like that. It's like the owner's always there. He's sort of a slave to the business. So with beginning and the end in mind, when I started my businesses, I want it to be a situation where I get to walk away one day in the first five years for sure. 
so that I would hire employees. Like in the first two years, I'm gonna have to figure everything out and almost write a manual on how this is supposed to go. So that when I show up, I can show people exactly what's going on. I can fix problems over the phone because I'm so familiar. So I know for a period of time, probably two years or three years, I'm gonna have to be in the trenches figuring all this shit out. But after that point, it's always the goal to hire people on that are gonna do all the work so that the, so that the situation turns into a part-time job or less, all right? So as we begin with the end in mind, first of all, we have to put the parameters on the business that it makes a certain amount of money easily and that we're walking away. That, And I don't mean walking away and, it's, and you're never gonna have it. I mean walking away like you can go to Fiji and you're making money. So that's, that's the whole situation. And you know, I've done it with all my businesses. Um, some of them take such little time like snakes that, you know, if I took, I can take care of a hundred snakes in three hours. And then if I had to leave for two weeks, everything's on thermostats and timers and I could leave. And then I could have someone monitor it like, you know, once every four days. And I've done it before, so there's ways. But you don't wanna be a slave to the business beginning with the end in mind. You wanna walk away from the business, have employees. You wanna make money in your sleep. And I mean, that's happened to me right now with the vine, with the vine business. It's uh, with the wood sand blasting business. I uh, have to come here so like infrequently. I don't have to come really at all that I feel guilty. I feel like I owe the business hours because it paid so much of my bills, saved my ass so many times. I feel like I got to come out here and commit some time to this thing because it's too big of a blessing, but well, it just runs itself and the employees are happy and everything's fine. And I don't know, I don't actually have to be here, but just out of guilt, I come sometimes. And well, you know, I enjoy being a man. So I like breaking a sweat. I like being out here in the sun. I actually like this shit. So, you know, it's pretty fun, but I only have to come here. I don't have to come here at all. If I like, I can work here part-time if I want. It's pretty enjoyable. And then I have time for YouTube and snakes and rats and all this stuff. And you know, that's the thing. My idea was that the business would become, would run itself, right? And as soon as it runs itself, I take some time off well needed because by the time that three year period had been up, I'm whooped. I've been through it all. And I take a break for like six months and I'm so fucking bored. I gotta do something. And I think of the next idea and I do the next thing and I don't let go of the other things. And I have a lot of forms of income. I do the snakes, I do the rats, I do the vines, I do the YouTube. I rent out shipping containers and parking lot and uh, spots for RVs, like a little parking lot. Um, and more like I'm for I, I literally forget so you know I got the mug store yeah so I mean like I said I'll forget about it. I have so many ways I make money I forget because as I set each one of them up with the end in mind that they're all gonna run themselves eventually I get bored and have to make something else run itself again all right guys well I've gone on a little while I always appreciate you listening in please like share and subscribe hit the notification bell if you would and we gonna see you on the next one